right, Stephen Jesse here. Uh, it's the new year. It's uh, January 2020. 2020. Um, first video of the new year. We're trying to create some pretty continuous YouTube content. Snowmobiling. Hopefully, we get better snow. Uh, we woke up, decided to head up to Pittsburgh. We got about a four hour drive up. Don't have a hotel booked. Um, just gonna get up there and find out what what's available and we'll uh we'll make a decision then so no off trail riding this time but we'll see what we can find and new hampshire hates off trail riding anyways uh so we'll see what we can do um we're well, hoping for six inches that's how like that'll be good if it's six inches so yeah. we don't have high expectations yeah probably gonna have to put the scratches down today um we're on our way up We'll probably check back in if anything goes wrong. Knock on wood, nothing goes wrong. When the F-150 getting solid six miles to the gallon right now, 2.7 EcoBoost. Uh, Should have took the diesel. Why didn't we take your diesel? I didn't even tell you what happened with the diesel. That's a, that's a whole other story. What I was gonna recommend diesel? taking it, but it's not even on the road anymore. What happened so, with the diesel? We're getting eight miles to the gallon. We can't take the big badass diesel. So uh, we'll check back in, gotta register the machines, and then uh, throw some GoPros on the helmet, and we'll go from there. All right, see ya. We're here. Is this upside down? No, it's good. All right, we're here. Uh, Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. We, we're we at the Buck Rub Pub. Free plug for them. Jesse's inside of the bathroom. I already went. Not going to say who, but we already got one clogged toilet. About 10 minutes into the trip. Uh, we're getting ready. We're gearing up. I'm going to show you some of Jesse's new gear this year. Sponsored by Polaris, Castle, and Klein. I got some new gloves this year. I'm a FXR guy. So we're going to get out there, throw some GoPros on some helmets, and uh, hopefully we get some good footage. You know, I don't think we're going to have any deep stuff today, but we'll get some trail riding. I'll let you know how it goes. See you.
right, we're doing an update here. We haven't been filming. It's been crazy content. I think something on the lens. Hold on. We haven't been filming. Great content. These two guys right here came up to us middle of the woods. Didn't know where they were. Guys out of gas. This was like two hours ago. We've been siphoning. We've been borrowing. We just made it to the gas station. I thought my machine blew up. Oil was dripping out the bottom of it. We'll give a more in-depth update later on, but we're gonna get some footage on the on the night ride home. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll fill you in. day one gotta fill you in on the events that took place we're in our room watching tv couple gym beams and coke deep check out check out the place so we went out we weren't gonna do that much riding we get to our halfway point about an hour and a half out remind you we we left around like 1 30 gets dark at four we're halfway, we find these two kids. They stop us. They are trying to get to where we're gonna end up, which is another hour and a half away. And they tell me that their phones are dead. They tell us that their phones are dead and they're out of gas. Well, one of, one of the machines is out of gas. So we help them get back to where they're supposed to be going. They were lost, they didn't have cell phone service, they were out of gas. We, we showed them how to get back. Pumping gas along the whole way. They were bumming gas, which is, I mean, necessary. The, guy, the kid wasn't gonna make it. So every single person we saw on the trail, they'd stop them, see if they have a spare gas caddy, buy some gas off of them. So they, they ended up making it. Um, after that, they still had like, what I think is an hour and a half drive back to their truck. They're trying to tell us it's like a half hour, but I find that hard to believe. Um, and then uh, we we stopped. This is before this is before we met those kids. We stop, and Jesse points out that there's oil dripping on my machine. I'm like, oh, here we go, new Polaris 850. Oil line popped off. Motor's done. Open up the side panel. Turns out I cross started the oil cap. Oil leaked everywhere. Fucking disaster. Oil's everywhere. Uh, well lubricated, but now it's a disaster. So tomorrow morning I'll try to clean it up, <clears throat> and we'll go from there. Uh, not too much riding content from today. We're gonna throw some GoPros on the helmets tomorrow. We'll get Jesse a GoPro. See what happens. Uh, we may try to go viral on TikTok. <laughs> Apparently you have to have some sort of dog with you to go viral, so we're gonna work on that. So, check in, we'll be back tomorrow. See ya. All right, we're heading out, day two. Last night was, yeah, it was all right. Uh, People next door kept us up till friggin' yeah. two o'clock. Yeah, walls, paper thin, no insulation. Chatty Cathy's, this guy over here has bronchitis. Um, I woke up with the cold, the infamous cold that my whole family has, so we'll see how today goes. Jesse, I, actually we're trying to go viral on TikTok, and I have a quote from Jesse saying, uh, I'll total my sled if it means we go viral, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we're gonna, we should have go, two GoPros today, we'll throw them on later on, try to get some mediocre trail footage, um, and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there, so stay tuned.
check. Yeah. Why don't you jump down in that ravine? <laughs> Alright, we got a foot. We got a foot. Knee deep in, in the bag. <laughs> Jesse signing up for some Canadian service. It's gonna be a lot of money. Ten dollars a text. All you have to do is say sorry, and then they waive the fee. Looks like we got a Canadian trying to come into the border. Uh, yep, searching them. No, he's good, he's clean. He's clean, he's coming into America. Coming into actually New Hampshire, live free or die. No off trail though, no cams either. <laughs>